Good day folks, it's Will from Wayne BAE here again. Uh, I've been programming all day and I figured I needed a bit of a break so I thought I'd do a quick little demo on the IFM Effector VKV021 vibration switch and sensor. This is a very nice little unit. It's priced uh, at $276 list Canadian and it is both a vibration switch and a vibration sensor. So you have a 4 to 20 milliamp output and you also have a uh, contact switch output as well for up to 500 milliamps. A little bit close up here. Um, the nice thing about this unit is that it's field settable. You have two dials on here. One is for setting the amplitude of the vibration. The other one is for setting the delay. And the amplitude can be from 0 to 25 milliamps per second or 0 to uh, 1 inch per second. And delay can be up to 60 seconds. So in practice what you would do is you would uh, mount this on your piece of equipment whether that be a motor or a drive line or a drive shaft, something like that. And uh, with the unit running, you would uh, adjust the amplitude till the orange light comes on. Right now we have it set low so that light will trigger very quickly, as you can see, uh, with just a little bit of vibration. So you would uh, set this up so that it just starts to uh, turn on and off um, with normal operating. And then you would set it up, say, 5 or 10 percent or 15 percent higher than that to signify that you have a problem with the machine. Uh, the delay can be set up for, say, starting the motor or stopping it when the vibrations increase or decrease as the unit is coming up to speed, um, which you know, makes sense. Um, nice, another nice little feature with this uh, switch is comes with a cover that you put on uh, the switch or sensor and then you put the plug on um, and thereby no one can tamper with it unless they disconnect it. Um, the switch itself is rated for 18 to I believe 36 volts DC um, input power and uh, IP67 so if you were going to use this in a mobile application you would have to probably supply you know a 24 volt supply or um, if the machine is already 24 volts that would be fine but a 12 volt uh, supply voltage would make this uh, uh, a little bit difficult you would probably have to get a step up uh, a transformer which are available but you can get them um, my primary area of application for these is in the mobile field so that's uh, essentially what I'm looking at. In the industrial field you generally have 24 volts available so that's not a problem. The uh, sensor can be mounted uh, with a couple of different options. You've got a magnetic mounting base or you've got a glue-on mounting base that uh, you can purchase from IFM for this. Um, what other features? We've got the locking dial here so that you can uh, lock it once it's in once it's set up in place like I say just another nice little uh, sensor from IFM uh, to make your life a little easier if you have any questions please feel free to email me thank you bye bye